Well, hello, Virgo. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the week of May 6th through the 12th of 2019 reading. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the beginning, who come to me for month-to-month -month readings, who like, share, subscribe, and have donated. I appreciate my subscribers more than you will ever know. All right, so I decided to shift the perspective of the way I am filming these readings. I am going to go through the process for those of you whom have wanted to see how I lay my spreads. Uh, I hope that this will be a bit of a learning tool for those who want to learn tarot or will help bring some uh, clarification to how I'm guided to pull the information. All right, so I start with this first Lenormand deck. I feel as though I should shuffle it a little bit more. I instantly saw a passionate masculine energy. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we have the Scyther, Scythe energies. Bringing a quick and swift ending to the maze energies. Confusion, which way do we go? Which way are we going? Am I making a mistake? So we're going to talk about the maze. Now I like to lay a five card spread with the first Lenormand deck. Yes, with the moon here regarding the maze. There is confusion and illusion, trying to always get to the truth of a situation. What am I doing here? In and with the situation. I feel that this particular Virgo energy with two divine messages here, the compass and the clock, this Virgo has decided I'm going to let spirit take over. I'm going to allow, with the compass energies, myself to be guided into the highest best path as I observe the signs and synchronicities during the week of May 6, 2019. I know that the clock represents divine timing. Therefore, I will wait so I don't make a mistake. I am karmically and very luckily spending time with my children. And I am, for some Virgos, still trying to sweep away the energy of a commitment partner, ship, contract, Hoping, wishing, and praying with the wishing well energies to connect in a passionate way. I feel with another. Somebody's wanting to sneak towards another with the fox energies to obtain more wisdom about where something is headed. Sorry if I just fly through these cards. It's just kind of what I do. Now in the center of the five card spread, we have the card that represents the entire reading or five card spread. We have a soul path. This could be a financial path, a good friend, the right boss. During the week of May 6, 2019, we have anxiety because somebody may be bringing a situation to an end around the 8th of May 2019, maybe the 9th. They're anxious about an ending, but they're thinking about a new beautiful path ahead. Okay. Okay. Wanting to devote themselves or to find out if there is devotion in and with another so that you can move towards a beautiful new beginning. Your wishes coming true, Virgo. So there may be a question of devotion here or what the Virgos asking themselves, am I devoted to when it comes to forward movement now on into and through the year? of 2019. So I'm now bringing in the second Lenormand deck because I like to clarify, clarify, clarify. Please do spirit. All right. So there's spiritual guidance here in the form of the book saying it is now time to look at the previous chapters of your life 
how far you have come, who you are today, and what it is you want to manifest in your life next. Some Virgos are saying, I want to open my heart. I am ready for a chapter of caring for another. But again, I'm trying to obtain more wisdom with the Lily energies about maybe the long term. But with the moon energies, there's just illusion and confusion at this point. What is the truth? This Virgo is being guided to focus on new paths ahead, or they are, when it comes to their security and stability, financially, spiritually, physically. Spiritual advice is saying that, Virgo, you have the key to success when it comes to texting, tweeting, talking to another person. Because there is a Virgo here who is really feeling some tugs on their heartstring, feeling energies of love and romance, but someone may have the energies of the snake here. Well, they do. Lies and deceit, or the situation involves energies of lies and deceit. Waiting, this well-dressed masculine, be it the Virgo watching this or someone that Virgo is thinking of, both waiting. He sees her as a bit mischievous. And I could go on and on. All right, so let's split the deck here. Spirit wants to talk about obstacles. I lay the cards as I am guided to. Yes. So there's a Virgo who knows what they're hoping, wishing, and praying for, and Spirit's trying to help them to push beyond obstacles. For some, it could be a situation at a distance. Wanting to sweep away from current circumstances and give birth to a new direction. So again, in the center of the five card spreads, we have, is this the right commitment, partnership, contract, client, direction that I am supposed to go in? In the beginning of the week of May 6, 2019, there could be unexpected communication coming towards Virgo or Virgo is wanting to connect unexpectedly with another, but there are energies of the mice representing anxiety. Do I bring a situation to an end? Wow. Something has gone full circle. And I think this Virgo cannot move forward or somebody who's thinking of the Virgo cannot move forward because it feels as though something has ended and now they're thinking about the ending. They're thinking about, was this a commitment partnership that was meant to take place? By the weekend of the, maybe around the 10th to the 12th of May, 2019, there will be in the foundation here, some form of communication. Someone may be asking another or trying to find out if themselves or the other are devoted to what, they're, what they are discussing. So in the outcome position representing the end of the week of May 6, 2019, somebody is hoping to hop, skip, and jump and move into the direction of their wishes come true when it comes to the clover energies, a very karmic connection, a connection that feels lucky. So if this is a financial concern, we have someone who is needing to obtain a little bit more information or they feel that they need to. When it comes to forward movement, they are receiving some form of unexpected communication that's going to help for them to think about and bring about an ending in their current path, financially, moving, whatever it is, because they now are starting to recognize uh, the connection by which or the situation or direction or business that they do want to devote themselves to moving forward. Wow. I just had the Queen of Swords jump out. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. If that applies. During this general reading. Okay, so now I'm being guided. You know, I'm not going to do these. I'm not being guided to these at all. When I see this card show up, the Soul Mate card... For some reason, I'm being guided to go into the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Now, romance has not been a part of the plan lately for a lot of people. It's just been a lot of struggle, a lot of worrying about 
family, partnerships, friends, your group. Okay, so now this Virgo is being guided to really learn about what has transpired in their life to heal and release from the past so they can now move forward. They need to forgive themselves for whatever has transpired in the past because I do feel like this particular Virgo has gone through a very spiritual transformation like many others. So in the circle spread that I do here, I lay the thoughts position is here to the right of the first card. This Virgo is thinking about energies of deception. They may be fearing that someone else is wearing a, a, a false mask or that they have been. If you're a cross watcher, you may be. I feel like this Virgo is recognizing that they were not being completely truthful or somebody wasn't here. And now look, it, it's time. This is the relationship sector here in the circle spread for heart to heart conversations. Wow. I'm feeling around maybe the 8th or 9th. There could be an actual discussion about an ending. About what didn't take place. And spiritual advice is to learn from the situation and forgive. Or know that there will be forgiveness if you were wearing a false mask. So for this Virgo energy in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, they're going to try to create a decision. Or they're being guided to communicate, forgive, learn, decide. In the week of May 6, 2019, in your actions position, you're really being guided more so to either go into your space and think things through for a while here before communicating with another, maybe not communicating with another until the 10th through the 12th of May 2019, to maybe communicate with another about disconnecting together and chatting with one another, forgiving and learning and speaking your truth about maybe seeing things differently now, this Virgo. So in the emotional aspects position here to the left of the first card, we have keep an open mind. Emotionally, you may come to the realization that this person is different than you thought. And now you're looking back and you're trying to forgive the fact that you were wearing a false mask or that someone was carrying the energies of deception. Subconsciously, the advice here is to love yourself first. As you focus on your self-respect, as you do the right thing, as you speak your truth, forgive and learn, release and heal. There can be very nice conversations here. So day to day, we have a Virgo who is thinking a lot about someone that they are chemically drawn to, magnetically drawn to. So in the inner strengths position, you're being offered the energies Virgo to kind of hold back and retreat, to forgive, to learn, to speak your truth, and to decide what to do with a person who may have stirred your romantic feelings. Well, we have conversation Forgiving and learning, for we all know not what we do, right? We all are learning. In a three-card summary to my right, there are energies of codependency. Virgo or someone else may be addicted to a person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, or substance. This Virgo may be currently healing and forgiving family members, friends, Trusting and having faith that as they connect with others at some point, 
something could indeed rise to a higher level of commitment. But they're being guided to pay attention to the red flags right now, making sure that everybody's on the same page if this is a connection with another person in love or if this is a connection you're trying to make about a new direction related to finances. Somebody's going to start to see uh, your self-esteem as you speak your truth and forgive and move forward and observe and decide a new path, however it may apply. Uh, you're very attractive at this time, during the week of May 6th especially, and you may be thinking about your children, expressing love, looking at things from different perspectives in your own personal path, contemplating finances and career, wanting some to reconcile with another. Communication could then take place around. It may be, I'm going to say the second into the third week. No. All right, I'm getting energies all over. I'm going to stick with the 8th or 9th of April. I mean, May 2019. All right, so the final card is you deserve love. You are lovable. Cupid's arrow is aiming right at you, Virgo. Slowly but surely, you will be calling in your soulmate. So we are guided not to pray for a particular human being, but to just ask spirit to bless us with that who is in our highest best good. Remain optimistic because someone here is fearing that some form of love connection or Connection in general is unrequited. Beautiful, true love is worth waiting for. And again, yes, I'm feeling like somebody is still needing to free themselves and release themselves from a previous partnership or outlooks when it comes to partnerships tied to the past and previous experiences. All right, so real quick, I'm going to bring in the Osha Zen Tarot for more clarification on top of the same circle spread. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, for this Virgo energy during the week of the first full week of May 2019. Forgiving and learning when it comes to the Two of Cups, a very special connection, one where you just kind of answer, uh, finish each other's sentences, and kind of putting that in the friend zone, really getting to know that tree next to you for a long period of time. Okay, in the thoughts position, it's about enjoying each and every day life, learning in our own ordinariness, about ourselves after some observation, looking at things from every perspective, recognizing old patterns, behaviors, and or cycles that led us to not be completely truthful or honest in the relationship sector. Somebody may be trying to really release the past, and they need to. This author says when we cling to the past with the Five of Cups, we become a blockhead. Ask whatever you need to ask so that you can take action in your creative aspects position to create a decision. For some Virgos, there is a new, exciting, passionate a path, path being offered to you from the universe. It may be that you may be connecting with someone who has fire in their chart, Sagittarius or Leo, Sun, moon, or rising male or female, or you're making a decision about forward movement. There feels like there's a connection, and you're just uh, kind of slowly but surely being guided to communicate about this new karmic financial direction. When it comes to relationships, look at that. This Virgo may want to get together and connect with this passionate, feminine, motherly, Giving, caring energy of the Queen of Wands. Someone who may have fire in her chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. Wanting to get together and either move forward with a very friendly situation or to let go. But there does need to be some form of communication here or there will be one way or another or there needs to be because... Somebody's tired of being a blockhead in the relationship sector. 
So in the hopes, uh, I'm sorry, the emotional aspects of the circle spread right here. Emotionally, this Virgo is going to be coming to a very spiritual realization. Emotionally, as you connect with others and recognize something different, Virgo, you're being guided to keep an open mind. Something may shock you or surprise you, and you're being guided to ground yourself. There could be a Virgo who's thinking that something ended, and then they're coming into connection with someone and recognizing that this direction, this opportunity, this person is blessed. So they're saying, love yourself first. We're going to help for you to make your wishes come true when it comes to love. Forgive, learn, and get to know someone longer. It's evident that you feel stuck in your mind about a past situation because maybe you were wearing a false mask. And now that is changing. This Virgo is really thinking about, and they're, they're being guided to keep an open mind about should I or shouldn't I move forward with a new love here. Wishes coming true as you free yourself from this frustration by having a conversation, communication, day-to-day, -day. chemistry, strong magnetic attraction, feeling like the sun, shining brightly and enjoying a connection, thinking about what was, needing to speak your truth, about maybe a very spiritual transformation, a shift in perspective. So in the inner strengths position, this is when spirit says, we will give you the strength of the new love card to really communicate and speak your truth, forgive and take time to retreat so that you can decide. There is a process here when it comes to a new love and this situation is moving slowly. So Spirit's giving you the strength to recognize home is where your heart is. We don't need to go elsewhere to find happiness in our path. And if this new love turns out being a very attractive, loving, caring, sharing, giving, exciting energy... There needs to be slow movement, contemplation. So let's do a three-card summary here. Yep. So we have a Virgo in the first couple days of May 6th, the week of May 6th, 2019, wanting to hop, skip, and jump and move into a new direction so that they can discover the possibilities, having courage to decide which path is the right one ahead. So there's indecision here, trying to come together so you can get out of your head with the five of wands and get to the truth. What is it you need to cut away from that, that is not fulfilling and which direction is the path of victory? We have a Virgo who could be comparing two different people. Now is a time of healing and change. Freeing oneself from the past and letting go of sorrow. We have a Virgo who, again, around maybe the 8th or ninth for some, we have the 6th. They're thinking about the past, wanting to come together, care, give, love, provide, communicate with another. That has, up to this point, been a fantasy, maybe not even a reality. Taking one step at a time, moment to moment, to ground themselves for fear that they've been projecting a situation to be more than it really is sitting in the energies of aloneness feeling maybe even lonely and exhausted thinking things through about how to get into and through that breakthrough breaking apart that blockhead patience as you connect with another now is a time to allow time to pass as you take one step at a time towards another person so that you can figure out 
if the path of head will be victorious. Success. Six of Wands. Recognition. Attention. Communication. Success. This Virgo, by the weekend, the 11th or 12th, I'm feeling, of May 2019, is going to be able to move into a new successful direction financially, creatively, because they have grown spiritually. Some Virgos are going to postpone the letting go of their current path or postpone the letting go in general, thinking things through, planning, serenity, peace, joy, and happiness, and being receptive to healing from the energies of self-destruction. Cutting away what no longer serves me, moving into the path of victory, getting beyond obstacles. Whatever those represent to this Virgo, now is the time to devote yourself to a new direction, a new chapter in your life for the year of 2019. Now to close, I'm going to pull one card from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Word of prayer, please, for this particular Virgo energy. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. Now is the time to spend some time outdoors. Ground yourself. Take a walk. Think about what it is you'd like to say. Honor and trust your feelings. The person that you're wondering about or asking about is indeed trustworthy. Forgive yourself for you've done nothing wrong. And be gentle with yourself at this time. So the prayer says, for the week of May 6th, 2019. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and to enjoy connecting with nature at this time. Hmm. Coming together, ship coming in, working with others, celebrating connections in the world in general, not trying to Run away, not trying to force. Just going with the flow and trusting in prayer. Freeing yourself from whatever the self-destruction is and getting beyond those obstacles. Opening up. Loving yourself. And in return, receiving your wishes coming true. Being able to make a decision about forward movement or not so that you can let go of what's been bothering you. So if you would like to know more about a person, place, circumstance, or situation, feel free to write me for a personal reading. My email is josiek42 at gmail.com. Please like, share, and or subscribe. Take care and God bless.